a little revelation that I got last night. I there wasn't anything on the TV that I wanted to look at. It. I just felt like I wanted to spend time with God. And the first thing, like it came like reflex. I, the thought came to mind. I want to spend some time with God. And the thing that came naturally to me was to go look up YouTube videos of preachers. Then I believe God spoke to me and was like, why am I not enough? Why being in my presence with me alone is not enough? Why do you need to hear someone else's interpretation of the word of God? And I was like, wow. Why was that my first response when I wanted to spend time with God? Why didn't I go in, go in his word by himself or go and um, pray? Why, why was it the first response that I went, I wanted to go look up somebody else's preaching? And I got to thinking about how this generation has been um, trained up. In, in, in a way we have been trained to be so dependent on preachers these preachers these days are not teaching us and I am no excuse because I'm grown I need to be eating meat now right um, no longer milk so but what I realize that the preachers of today what they are doing is creating handicap um, sheep basically people who can't search the word for themselves people who need to get stuff from people's mouth instead of teaching them to be able to search the word the word for themselves or to pray and see god's face or to believe the spirit of christ within them because what i realized some preachers and shepherds are doing is that they're making you doubt holy spirit within you and making you feel like if if the word doesn't come from their mouth then maybe maybe it's your own word or maybe it's not the holy spirit but god sent holy spirit for all of us he lives in all of us so why then are preachers making it seem like they're the only ones that can get an accurate word from god and i believe that's crippling this generation whereby we can't receive from God unless it's from some other person's mouth and that's where we need to really check ourselves and really um you know get down to spending time with God by ourselves you know that intimate time with intimate time you don't want nobody else in the room you don't want no I mean that might be a little bit too much but for real when you want intimacy with somebody you want that one-on-one -on -one time you don't need anybody else to be there eavesdropping on your conversation. So a little advice for us, me too. I really had to check myself and be like, hey, I, I can go and sit in God's presence. And that should be enough, enough. His word to me should be enough, you know, and it should be enough for all of us. And so if if we look within our lives, let's check ourselves, check you know to see if it is that we're super dependent on receiving um you know a word from a preacher rather than depending on holy spirit for ourselves and if that's the case we need to you know have get our priorities in order and so that god will be the first person we look to when we need help when we need comfort whatever we need we will prioritize god as the first you know person we look to the first to aid in in whatever we need and so that's just what was on my mind um in today's generation we need to be able to rightly divide the word of truth for ourselves so what i believe preachers need to be doing is teaching people how to search the word how to listen for the voice of god how to know the voice of god rather than them teaching people that they're the only ones that they can hear god through or from and so uh that's just what i wanted to share i hope you know you benefit from this